on an album that I have coming out August 18th called Volume 1. I'm very excited about it, and uh, this entire tour is just for y'all. It's literally just for y'all, so here we are. Anyways, this song is always played last. Every time I play a show, I swear it's played last. I'm tired of playing it last. We're just gonna get it started. You understand me, Dallas? How loud can you sing? Let's get it.
Beyonce over here just shaking her head like y'all are creating a monster.
This song is also off of the first Drugs record. Who's gonna come see Drugs play tomorrow? Anybody? Oh! Oh, yeah. 6.30, so what? Hot Topic stage. It's gonna be sick, I can't wait. Anyways, this is my favorite track off the first album, and this song is called Graveyard Dancing. I think there's some bops back there that, uh, that need to get some attention. And uh, 
Anyways, revisiting this song specifically was super cool uh, because I wrote it with some, with some people that I knew back in middle school, basically. Uh, and uh, we started writing this record, I think I was 17 years old, and that record is called All's Well That Ends Well. And, uh, you know, I just gotta say what a blessing it is to be able to be up here. I think it's been almost 20 years since I've been a musician, and I'm just really grateful to still be able to do this, you know? I know some of you are like, damn! Yo. Anyways, this song is called To Trixie and Reptile. Thanks for everything. This next song is one 
one that I, uh, I only broke out for this tour for the first time uh, playing like this. It's also on the album. It's on volume one, August 18th. And uh, this, uh, this song was inspired by uh, the movie and I guess the band. But um, I was watching Across the Universe one day. And uh, I'm a big Beatles guy. And, uh, and, and when my guitar gently weeps, or whatever the name of the song is, came on, and I was like, damn, they're literally just like singing about whatever's in the room. This is crazy. So I tried it, and this is what came out. And this song is called 3 a.m. <laughs> checked out the newest drugs record that dropped last year. A few of you, the rest of you, for shame. For shame. I'm just 
kidding. But you're missing out. Some good shit on there, bro. I'm telling you. Anyways, this is probably my favorite song to play in this set. Um, and uh, Mitch is going to break out some uh, some piano on this one for us. You show me that piano, dude? Right? Like, a hundred about that. You know? Anyways, this song is called Gold. Get that click down just a little bit. You must be new here, this part of my mind. There's doorways and spaces I'd rather you not find. I gave you a warning. Decisions were by the side. Remember how I held you wrapped in gold. Through the night, but when the morning comes, I'll go. Round and round we go.
personal for a second. I deal with like a pretty aggressive uh, case of introversion. Um, my social battery runs out after like 30 minutes. I've got like 30 to 45 minutes of awesome hangout time, and then I need to just dip for hours. I don't know. Can anybody relate to that? Yeah. Yo, for the longest time, I had no idea what to do with it, and honestly, I thought something was wrong with me. I used to throw pills on it, and that obviously didn't fucking work. Uh, but I thought I could be Superman, because then I could just go talk to everybody with that high, you know what I mean? Um, and that's all I've ever really wanted, was to be able to walk into a room and not feel just crushed by the social anxiety that I kind of am, uh, that I deal with. Anyways, uh, so, you know, for the longest time, I just... I had no idea what was wrong with me, and in the past few years, we've started to understand more about mental health, and I've actually started to understand myself. And uh, for that, I'm just extremely grateful, you know? So, anyways, I did what I do, and that is uh, reclaim it by writing a song about it. And uh, this is my favorite song to play when I'm at home on my piano, and I'm gonna try it on this little MIDI keyboard. Uh, also, Mitch says I play this song about 92% on rock band. So, there's gonna be some wrong notes. I'm fucking human. Y'all can deal with it. Anyways, this song is called I Wanna Be Alone. Which is real crazy. 
we uh, we really wanted this sound on the record, and we ended up using like the impersonation of this guitar. And then when this tour rolled around, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. It's time. So I released a project a while ago by the name of Cinematic Sunrise. Has anybody heard that? play you a song from that record. This song is called You Told Me You Love Me.
We got a few more left for you. This next song is written about how you basically are not required to resolve every single thing that's ever happened in your entire life and you can let go of all the baggage and just actually move forward without giving a fuck. It's really actually pretty easy. Um, you know, I'm a big believer that, you know, I was talking about this earlier with people. Um, I'm a big believer that you're going to be handed the same challenges in your life over and over and over until you overcome them. And uh, the best way to do that is just to move your feet. You're not going to overthink your way out of anything. So just move your feet and get it done. You know what I mean? And uh, sometimes, sometimes destiny just takes away the wrong people and puts in the right ones, you know? I'm going to need you to make some Mitch chant action for him jumping on the drums now. This dude is incredible. Give it up for Mitch. Come on. Mitch. Mitch. Anyways, this song is off the new drugs record and it's called Destiny. Can I get that clicked down a little bit? Not much though.
Thank you all so much. This has been amazing. We got a couple more left for you. I do want to give Mitch a little extra love. Uh, him and I wrote the newest drugs record in my living room during the pandemic, and I have nothing but love for this dude. He also sings for a band called Ferials. I don't know if anybody knows about Ferials. But their playing is so what on Sunday, and you should go fucking check them out and support everything this dude does. You understand me? Support this dude. some friends called Bone Palace Ballet. And this song is called I Didn't Say I Was Powerful, I Said I Was a Wizard. If you know it, I want to hear you sing it. You ready, Dallas? And the moment that she left the room, the album started skipping. Goodbye to do to share with the ones that you
Once again, I would like you to make some noise for Donovan Bolero, Kurt Travis, and Aaron Gillespie. Absolute titans. Absolute titans. And uh, what an honor it is to be able to play these shows together. Um, one more time, give it up for all of them, please. All the music that's come from these human beings is really impressive. Honestly, and to, to have it on one show, honestly, give it up for So What for making this happen. Honestly, it's sick. So, this is, uh, this is gonna be our last song. I need one more sing-along. You guys got one more sing-along in you, yeah? We'll see. We'll see. This song is called, The Only Thing You Talk About, a.k.a. Thermacare. We'll see if you know it. Let's get it.
We did not plan on this, so for everybody that left, sorry. Normally I would do a throwback, but I think y'all are entitled to a little hype before you head out for the evening. Can you mute the acoustic guitar real quick, Blake? Thank you, bud. I appreciate you. The only time that we've ever done this was in San Antonio the other night. They were fucking crazy and they were like not gonna not let us do it. So we're gonna play a song that we've already played. And I need you to hype this shit up. Let's go, Dallas. Let's start off this weekend fucking right. And uh, this song goes out to all the OGs out there that have stuck around since the fucking beginning. And also, my homie Simon that flew from Germany for this shit. Second time, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm not scared. Fuck it! What you got? 